everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing good so today i'm going to show you stored procedure with in out parameters so what do you mean by in out parameter is basically that same parameter you will be getting as an input and you will be returning the value of that same parameter as a output of stored procedure so basically it's a combination of in out parameters so let me show you syntax of stored procedure so in stored procedure you can see there is in out and in out parameters so i have already created video on in and out parameters so this is my third video on stored procedure where i'm showing you in out parameters so if you want to start from basic then you can go and watch those video so i'll provide the link in the description as well so now let me show you database which I'm going to use. So I'm having one student table. So in this table student details are stored like class, marks, gender. So I'm going to create a stored procedure like let's say I'll be passing student name and that procedure will return me student class that in which class student is studying. So now let's create stored procedure. So firstly write D limiter. So delimiter is basically to send as a single unit to our server. So now write create procedure. Let's say get student class. So now I need to send parameters. So it's going to be an in out parameter. So here in parameter will be student name and output will be student class. So write in out and let's say parameter name detail and it's going to be a student name so it's going to be a varchar type also define length so now write begin and end and inside that we are going to write our logic so now write query write select class from student and where it's going to be name we are going to pass like here as name we are passing so after like I need to pass detail parameters. So firstly I'm going to concat percentage before and after detail variable. So for out parameter we need to pass class value into our detail. So write class into detail. So now let's go and create our procedure. So now after creating go to routines and there you can see get student class procedure is added. So now let's execute this stored procedure. So we need one student name. So let's get one student name and paste. So now hit enter. And now you can see detail we are getting is three. So in query you can see there are three queries. First one is setting session variable. After that calling the stored procedure and then selecting our session variable. So now let me show you how you can call using a query. So firstly, I need to create a session variable. So for that, write set at the rate detail and in detail, I need to pass one student name. So I'm just getting one student name and passing that. Now, after that, secondly, I need to call my store procedure. For that, write call and let's say get student class. So inside that as a parameter, I need to send at the rate detail. Now after that third is I need to select this session variable. So these three query you need to write while creating stored procedure with in out parameters. So now let's execute. So you can see the output at the rate detail is having four value and that student is also in class four. So I have shown you how to create stored procedure with different type of parameters in out and in out parameters. So if you have any doubt related to this topic, then you can comment down below. So that's all in this video. I hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.